Today on the channel, we're celebrating 20 years of House of a Thousand Corpses with one of the all-time greats in the NECA, Captain Spaulding. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for a little bit of clown business with house of thousand corpses 20th anniversary NECA captain spaulding but for all your captain spaulding needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up entertainment earth use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent on all in stock items anything over 99 dollars does ship free and of course anything uh, under that 795 flat rate shipping going on Got to get a deal out there. And, of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I can't believe it's been 20 years since House of Thousand Corpses came out. We recently unboxed the Otis reissue to mixed results. Hoping for better results with this figure, in all honesty, is Captain Spaulding, one of my all-time favorite movie characters be it any kind of movie, Sid Haig, a national treasure, unfortunately has passed away, as we do know, but so many great movies from back in the 70s into the 80s, and then, of course, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, uh, Three from Hell, kind of what he's known for nowadays, but quite the lengthy movie career going way back in the day. Uh, I am here for it, and I love Sid Haig, and I loved Captain Spaulding. I loved House of a Thousand Corpses, but I definitely prefer Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects, to me, is my favorite movie of all time. If you've never seen that, definitely worth a watch. Uh, but House of Thousand Corpses is a little bit different. A little bit of Texas Chainsaw Massacre mixed with other horror movies. is kind of what it always felt like to me. But it did bring us Captain Spaulding for the first time ever. And I, of course, had these figures. These are somewhat re-releases from back in the day. Uh, I've told the story before. I was having my first daughter, my first kid, way back when. And I sold my entire House of Thousand Corpses Devil's Rejects collection. I had all kinds of stuff, all kinds of memorabilia, things like that. I actually sold all of it. I'm glad I made a fortune at the time on those. And now they've been re-released so I can get kind of some of that enjoyment back and not have to pay the heavy price tag. So I know how it goes. When things always get re-released, it seems like, and it kills the value of the older stuff, or at least taste that value down. That's what we're probably seeing with these. However, Otis, we talked about it. We unboxed it on the channel. I actually have it right here. Might as well bring it out. Not as nice as the last version. The, the original version of this figure was a lot better than this one, which is wild. Constant learning, constant improvement, you think. You think they would make it better. They made it worse. So we'll see what we feel about this Captain Spaulding. But, of course, let's dive into it. Let's see what all the fuss is about there. There he is in one of his many outfits. Of course, back in the day, uh, there was a lot of different versions of Captain Spaulding from NECA Real Toys at the time. They were very cool. Of course, you even had like a, a Suncoast movie exclusive. There was a lot of different ones. We'd love to see those re-released, maybe a box set or an online one. Something like that would be pretty cool. But you got Captain down here, got his name, got the big bubble window. Unfortunately, no autographs to be had for this one. House of Thousand Corpses at the top. Murder Ride. Watch out for the old Murder Ride right there. Another glamour shot on the side here, and then on the back, all kinds of stuff going on. A little tutti fruity, maybe? Who knows? Uh, House of Thousand Corpses, Captain Spaulding, Tasty Fried Chicken, Gasoline Grease Paint Gore, Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, See the Alligator Boy, World Famous Murder Ride. Man, how cool would that be? Except the death part, probably, but it'd be cool to see Captain Spaulding in person. Never did get to meet Sid Haig, unfortunately, there. Salt of the Earth, as we do know. There's the old murder ride in the background. Very, very cool. See you later. Goodbye, little plastic prison. There he is, looking good. He's locked down. You can't keep a good captain down, I'll tell you that much. Can't keep him down. Cut him out of the package there. There we go. Getting there with some of these accessories. You get one extra hand. Get a little top hat like a young Uncle Sam. See you later, goodbye. I watched Uncle Sam, the horror movie, the other day. So shout out to Uncle Sam. Let's start off with some accessories here. You get a little stick. I guess it's a talking stick. You know, here's my ride. It's almost like a carnival worker is what you got, but it's red, white, and blue on brand for Captain Spaulding. 
Perfect for your 4th of July displays, I will say that for sure. You get two open hands for the captain. He's going to give you the Bret Hart, hey, what's going on? He's going to wave to you. He's going to do that whole thing. We also get a second hand right here, a gripping hand. And, of course, you're going to want to use this one. You're going to want to have that baton in his hand. So we get the gripping hand right here. Then you get the Uncle Sam hat going on in the wet, red, white, and blue looking very nice. A little paint imperfection on the side on mine. Mileage, your mileage may vary, of course, as we know. But looking good right there. And now we're diving into the figure itself. It is the good captain here. Does feel a little bit dumbed down once again, just kind of like the Otis there. It is better than the Otis in the face department. But from my memory of the old one, maybe not as fine details as that old one there. You got the gray beard going on. You got the human skin tone color. And then he's got the clown makeup in the front. Very iconic, of course, is one Captain Spaulding. Diving into the hands a little bit more. You got the tattoos on the knuckles. The love and hate, of course, as we know. He does got the big old clown suit on, but also kind of an Uncle Sam suit with the big overcoat. Red, white, and blue throughout. You got the little skull there. He pulls out there. Of course, we remember that scene from the movie. A beautiful hot dog shirt underneath, because why wouldn't you? Everybody loves a hot dog, except me. I don't like hot dogs. I liked them when I was a kid. Give me a bratwurst any day over a hot dog. I'm just not a hot dog guy. Uh, then you get down to the body here. I guess articulation arms go around for us here. You do get an elbow, single jointed, but you do get the side to side. Hand back and forth, side to side. Removable, of course. Head back and forth, side to side. No, oh, there it is. Waist articulation, very tight. Legs are not moving. So legs are stuck in spot. Ankles side to side, back and forth, up and down. That's it. No other articulation there. He's got polka dot pants that might make the great Dusty Rhodes blush. You never know what might happen. And then he should fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. He does fit on that. So a little bit of a statue feel with a little bit of articulation is what this House of Thousand Corpses Captain Spaulding is. It's comparable to the last one. That's what I'm going to say. Where Otis, unfortunately, disappointing compared to the last one. I will say the Captain Spaulding feels a little bit better to me, in my opinion. And I'm just happy to have these guys back in my collection. Would love to see more figures, uh, be it re-releases or hopefully new sculpts would be great to see. There was a very cool House of Thousand Corpses line. There was a very cool Devil's Rejects line. I feel they could be improved upon Hopefully in the future we see those from NECA. Heck, they make a lot of properties. No reason they can't dive into these a little bit more. I think the fan base is there. Hopefully we see them in the future. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and wait. But Captain Spaulding, an all-time classic for me. Happy to have this back in my collection. But what about you? Were you all in on the NECA ones? Did you have the giant Captain Spaulding that talked? There were so many great figures over the years from NECA. Would love to see them once again. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my other YouTube channel. I've got two channels with content every single day. Appreciate the support over there. ProWrestlingTees.com. Don't forget Patreon for early access to everything from both of my YouTube channels. And also follow them along over on social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the great Sid Haig as Captain Spaulding, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.